As we know, due to rapid expansion of cities, problem of waste has arisen in a huge way. Approximately 1400 tons of waste generated every day from Pune city is carried out majorly by vermicomposting, microbial composting and dumping off in a waste depot. However, the problem of this bio waste is rapidly growing up. The main reasons are insufficient degradation of waste through routine vermicomposting and microbial composting, over saturation of waste at the depot, unawareness among citizens about the segregation of waste and its degradation. As the proportion between generation of waste and its degradation is mismatching, about 80 to 85 percent of waste has been dumping off at the depot or unutilized land. The dumping of waste remains untreated and causes very serious problems like fouling smell, air and soil pollution, water becomes unpotable in nearby areas, land becomes useless, etc. Chief sources of these bio waste are houses, societies, restaurants, vegetable markets, etc. If the waste generated at these places degraded at that site only, then the burden of dumping of the waste will become decreased. It will provide the continuous supply of good quality compost and manures, which is highly beneficial to agriculture as well as garden practices. But some practical problems in conventional composting becomes a hurdle in this activity. Fouling smell, ants and maggots problems are the major ones. Due to these problems, majority of citizens are not actively support the composting at their nearby areas. Day after day, waste management crisis overburden not only metro cities but at village level also. Hence, to sort out the problem, there is a strong need to develop an innovative, microbial as well as mechanical technique by which rapid degradation of waste can be possible. In year 2000, Supreme Court of India prepared a law regarding municipal solid waste handling and its disposal. It is clearly stated in law that organic waste generated by any people or any community or any property should be managed at source only. Composting is the cheapest and simplest method of organic waste management. Conversion of organic matter into soil-like particles is called as composting. Various methods of composting are vermicomposting and biocomposting. Heat method and heaping methods are two conventional methods. But due to problems like unawareness in citizens, improper technology, high infrastructure cost, these pit methods or conventional methods are abundant in many areas. In last three years, microcompost from Dhaivi doing the firm work related to home composting by user-friendly way called as compost terminal technology. While developing this technology, we got invaluable support from Spinform Plastics Aurangabad. Mr. B. N. Rathi, director of Spinform Plastics, manufactured these equipments in their factory and gave contribution in development of technology. Main features of tumblers are portability, user-friendly nature, rodent and animal-proof design, and ideal for rapid composting. This concept launched in January 2010. Since then, AgroOne, Sakar Social Foundation, Indian Society of Agriculture Engineers and various institutions took a note of this technology. In current year 2012, NABAR has sanctioned a grant of Rs 5.5 lakhs for propagation of concept in rural environment. In this series, we are demonstrating this technology. So let's see how to do composting from a tumbler technology. Compost tumbler includes plastic drum assembled on a fabricated stand. There is a handle for rotation of tumbler. Drum is made up from UV protected plastic material. 
there are three layers of plastic you can observe upper blackish layer middle grayish layer and lower whitish layer grayish layer is a polythene foam material by which temperature rises in a compost pile very quickly for addition of waste material and discharging of compost there is a door assembly this assembly is very effective against rodent problems for better homogenization of compost mixture lump breakers are designed on surface of tumbler as composting aerobic procedure compost tumbler has small holes through which fresh oxygen provided to microbes overall assembly is properly fixed on a fabricated stand to avoid any disturbance to compost mixture handle assembly enable user to mix the content uniformly Following organic waste can be processed in tumbler kitchen waste vegetable waste fruit peels food waste spent flowers garden waste etc for acceleration of composting mycocompost develop a microbial formulation it includes cellulose degrading fungi and bacteria which are prepared in laboratory and supplied to end user city waste comprises high amount of nitrogen so to balance that carbon source like sawdust or coco peat or garden waste is added with the waste so let's see the daily procedure of compost tumbler technology first add your daily waste in tumbler one or two handful of carbon source like sawdust coco peat or any garden waste along with waste in a tumbler it helps in absorbing the moisture generated from food waste once in a month compost culture is added to mixture for acceleration of composting process after addition of all the contents close the lid of tumbler Then rotate the tumbler two to three times in an anti-clockwise and clockwise manner. Due to rotation of tumbler, waste particles uniformly mixes with the absorber material and compost culture. After daily addition of these material, composting organisms start to decompose the waste, giving blackish color to mixture. This black color indicates ideal composting process. Stop adding the waste five to six days before discharging of compost. Due to this process, fresh waste got time to decompose. For an individual purpose, following formula can be applied: day one to twenty-five, keep on adding waste and carbon source. Day twenty-five to thirty, stop adding fresh waste. Day thirty-one, harvest the compost. three different models in compost tumbler first one 100 liter model it is useful for one to two families it can produce 25 kg compost from a one batch second 200 liter model this model is an ideal model for users having garden and small farms it generates 40 kg compost from a one batch third model is 300 liter model which gives approximately 60 kg finished compost from a single batch it is very useful for small society 
Our latest development in tumbler system is 1200 liter continuous composter. It has four different chambers from which compost mixture transfers. It gives compost on a continuous basis from a large chamber. For small farms, vermiculture units, shredder machine is a very effective equipment. It runs on 2 HP single phase motor. It is ideal for garden leaves, prunings up to 10 mm diameter and related agri waste. Its capacity is 200 kg waste per hour. For food waste composting in hotels, clubs, bedding halls, Various models of mixers are developed by Mycocompost. These food waste crushers are made up of stainless steel material. Along with compost tumblers, for passionate garden lovers, vermi pins are developed. It has three compartments, upper layer. Middle one is a process chamber in which earthworms are added in compost mixture. Lowermost chamber is for collection of vermi wash. Apart from these tumblers and vermi beans, Mycocompost provides an outsourcing of composting process to residential complexes. Details of mobile compost service A motorized crusher is loaded in a three-wheeler vehicle. Every day, this vehicle will visit desired location and process the collected waste. After processing, that is, crushing of waste followed by addition of culture, and absorbent material. The mixture drops in a compost tumbler or a pit provided by society. After completion of process, raw compost or a finished compost handed over to society or can be buy back at 2 rupees a kg. Approximately 7 days are required to get this raw compost or a finished compost from a daily waste. This concept is becoming very popular in Pune city and now started to replicate in various cities.